well, thank you all uh, very much for coming uh, this morning. We're here, obviously, to uh, announce our new manager, Dean, but before I do that, I think I'd like to record a thanks to Glenn for all the hard work he's done and bringing Chelsea City up to where we are now, which is knocking on the door of the Conference Premier. Never quite made it. Uh, three or four years trying, and some wonderful cup runs to remember, but I think it's time that the club move forward. Uh, we advertised for the position, had 30-something applicants, and with the supporters club uh, representatives' assistance, we whittled it down to a mere few that we interviewed, and there's one man that stood out above them all, and we've offered him that position as manager of Chelsea, uh, manager of Chelsea City. He has accepted it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Dean Holdsworth. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Okay, do you want to say? <laughs> um, yeah, I've um, been in talks with Mansell uh, and Paul over the last uh, uh, amount of time. Uh, I've been away on my pro licence, and in that time, um, we've uh, we've agreed. I'm I'm delighted. Uh, I will be very proud. And um, again, I think it's. Uh, uh, a point at time to say uh, I've watched uh, Chelmsford over a number of uh, years, uh, managed against them, um, and uh, I've always valued it as a very, very good club in uh, in this division, and always thought of the potential of the f of the football club, and this is what I've seen, and, and uh, likewise. Um, uh, Appreciate what Glenn had done at the football club, and um, appreciate that uh, there was a position to be filled. We spoke about it, and um, and now I'm very proud to be in this position. Do you like to sign the contract? <laughs> this is a two-year contract, by the way. Is there any questions of press one at yeah. this stage? Dean, when you were a player, apparently um, the Wimbledon chairman Sam Haman offered you a camel to incentive for the pencil golden something similar. Don't forget many camels. No, we've uh, We've had a, a good conversation about uh, the future, and um, and that's been the most important thing. That it is a um, there is a plan for the football club, a potential, and um, I'm trying to. I will try and work uh, very heavily with the board, uh, with Paul and, and Mansell about uh, what we can financially afford uh, and the way forward. And uh, so my incentive is to. Um, you know, make things uh, as best I can in my template of how I manage and uh, um, and look forward. Did you get the camel? <laughs> I have a camel in in a zoo some, in somewhere. So. <laughs> Comment Dean on the um, Aldershot fans website, which said that from Chelmsford's perspective, uh, following Glenn with you was like following good cop with bad cop. Um, does that sum up your managerial style or is that perhaps just his take basically what I'm saying is what is your managerial style? My management style is very much based on man management and uh, making uh, a feel good factor around the dressing room uh, dealing with um, players, making sure players uh, enjoy training, playing uh, and hopefully winning football matches so uh, I'm not sure who, who uh, made that comment, so uh, oh. Oh, no. uh, perhaps I didn't come to the Man United game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you had a chance to speak to players yet? No, opinion? I haven't. And uh, as I say, I've been finishing my um, pro licence course this week down in Wales and um, came off of it yesterday and, and this was the first opportunity to come down and, uh, and obviously attend this today. And what is your assessment of the well, I think that um, more importantly, uh, that the players know that they'll be having uh, 
someone to look at the situation right away for the, throughout the squad. Um, it's going to be um, interesting in the next few weeks. Um, and I will speak to the players as honestly and as freely as I can and, uh, and assess that in the next sort of... Uh, especially probably in the next seven days. I would think that um, most players, I'll be straight with them and uh, it will be budget-orientated budget and um, we'll, we'll uh, do that as honest as we can. What were your first impressions of the club when you arrived? Well, they were exactly what I thought. They were, uh, there was a lot of uh, good things um, and potential with the football club. Uh, I know that uh, Mansell uh, and the board, um, I know that he spoke on behalf of the board with Paul, that the uh, the ambition is there, but we also have to be realistic as well of uh, what we can and can't afford, and that's football as a, as a general whole at the moment. I don't think it's uh, um, uh, any different from many other clubs. That uh, we have to be prudent and um, and manage uh, what's in front of us. Since your appointment, Dean, um, there's been a real good feel good factor over the last few days. Um, I know it's only. It's just started. What's your message to the supporters to start with? Um, it's a it's a great challenge for me, um, and and for the football club, and um, we we want to be uh, competing with every with every team in the division if we can, if we possibly can. But I've got a good feeling about it, and I'm looking forward to it. And it's very very much um, it's very similar to um, my early days of Newport when we went in there. That um, it's. Uh, you know, a, a, a potential is is there. And we've got to fulfil that potential. You must love an athletic stadium. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. So uh, that's uh, not important. That's uh, yeah. Um, maybe it's a, that might have been one of the key things. <laughs> I think for the first year thing at Newport was a, a settling in the year, was it not? Uh, you that big way it, it was a tough year. Yeah. The first year, the uh, the finances at the football club, the board were in. Um, I don't want to say disarray, but there was a lot of uh, changes what went on. I, you know, one day I was went to a meeting and came out, and the chairman had resigned, and there was no one left on the board. Um, so the first year was a hell of a learning curve, um, but you know, we um, we made sure that the football side of it, the uh, you know, the the club, we what we did, we identified what we could achieve given the right financial backing and the club structure changed and it went from uh, I think a budget of uh, sorry a, a crowd of 700 to I think five and a half thousand the, the night we went up so it changed over the two years quite dramatically um, and it is identifying the players to fit your budget we never had an extraordinary budget at uh, Newport we we got the right players in and um, and say over those two and a half years they all bought into the philosophy and the, the fitness and and the uh, and the games and and they believed in what we were achieving as a group and that's what I think that the most important thing is is that unity um, together. Just your, your initial feelings: are you excited or are you more terrified when you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm excited. I am excited. It's a challenge. It's a great challenge. And um, I've just uh, you know got a feeling of um, I've got a good feeling back. I I left um, all the shot and. Um, and uh, um, it left a real, uh, I don't know what the right word is, I'm not going to be detrimental, but um, when we left there we were fifth from bottom and um, under an, a very stressful year of lots of things going on behind the scenes which I don't think um, uh, a lot of people gave the right messages out and I've seen a lot of people um, uh, struggle through the um, other decisions being made. and. When we first spoke, I've known Mansell and Paul quite a long time, um, not personally, or, but as, as a looking on the outside. And I knew that um, the most important thing was that they were going to give me honesty. And, um, and I think they have. And I think that they want, uh, they want success. And um, so um, I'm looking forward to that, and it is exciting. In terms of a, an idle fan base, you were just talking about mm. the way that the same thing would appear to apply do you see a similarity? Yes, yeah, a big, big similarity. When I came here, I think, when I came here with Newport, I think there was thirteen or fourteen hundred fans that day, and um, for whatever reason, if that's uh, declined, uh, I know we're in a, a recession, not just a football recession, 
Um, but uh, that's the challenge to get people through those turnstiles for the football club to uh, you know make it uh, a place where Chelmsford um, realizes that there's a, a good you know a good successful club here and um, so yeah that's very similar to what it was with Newport, Newport and they were fanatical and um, you know and I loved every minute of that that year was uh, special very special and um, so going up as champions uh, was a, a great occasion so um, hopefully we can get close to that thank you great well, thank you that concludes it thank you yeah. very much for coming yep and uh, the work but starts now Dave <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good stuff thank you thanks again thanks